10 riddles that 98% of people can't solve. So if you can solve these riddles, well, you're pretty smart. Riddle number one, identical backpacks. One day, Ben got on a train to visit his mother. Since he was traveling light, Ben only packed a lightweight backpack that contained all of his money. Ben met a nice man named Mr. Gray during the journey, and the two men had a friendly chat until Ben dozed off in his compartment. When Ben woke up, by the time the train arrived at the station, his companion Mr. Gray was gone. But what shocked and dismayed Ben was the fact that his backpack was extremely heavy now when he went to pick it up. He found no money in it when he opened the bag, even though it looked exactly like his own backpack. Instead, it was filled with heavy nails and screws. So of course, Ben rushed after Mr. Gray, who was taken to a police officer. Mr. Gray said that he had taken Ben's backpack accidentally. Why did the officer still arrest Mr. Gray? You have 15 seconds. Well, did you figure it out? The answer is that Mr. Gray couldn't have made a mistake and mixed the backpacks because the backpack with the metal screws and nails was a lot heavier than the one with the money so he was definitely lying about the accidental mix-up. Number two, dangerous escape. You have been kidnapped by a maniac. For now, you're being held hostage in a dark basement with three exits. One of the exits has giant angry dogs barking rapidly. The second one has a beefy, aggressive man guarding it. The last exit has an explosive with a five minute timer that is on, oh boy. Which exit are you going to choose? You have 15 seconds to choose the correct answer. Your time starts now. Well, did you guess correctly? All you have to do is be patient. Wait for the five minute timer to go off and set the explosive off in the doorway. Once the way is clear, you can leave safely through the third door. Number three, the mystery of the werewolf. It was a full moon when many people completely vanished in the city. The locals called in the police to investigate the disappearance. They also suspected that a werewolf was responsible for the missing people. Now, police have three suspects, John, Leon and Percy, but the three men had an alibi to prove their innocence. John was taking a pleasant stroll by the river with his longtime fiance that night. Leon was in a mall to look for a silver ring for himself. Lastly, Percy was working a night shift as a museum guard. The clock is ticking. Who is the mystery werewolf behind the disappearances? Were you able to solve this riddle? The answer to this intriguing mystery is Percy. John had been walking outside under the full moon, and Leon was shopping for a silver ring and wasn't afraid to wear silver jewelry. So of course, the culprit is Percy, the museum guard. Let us know down in the comments below if you were able to solve that riddle. Number four, the strange riddle. Jenny and Sean were outside having fun after a great Halloween party when Sean dared Jenny to go inside of a creepy castle across town. Jenny accepted the dare. There were rumors in town that the castle was inhibited by a mad scientist who would perform terrible experiments. When Jenny went inside, the lunatic appeared and told her that she would have to answer his riddle if she wanted to leave the place alive. He would use her for his crazy experiments if she failed. The riddle went like this. A sphere has three, a circle has two, and a point has one. What is it? Take your time, you have 15 seconds starting now. The answer is the dimensions. That's mad clever, isn't it? Well, were you correct? Number five, dance studio incident. Harry, a dance instructor, was found knocked out by the old studio owner in the dance studio. Harry was lying unconscious on the floor and seemed to have been struck in the head. So the police were summoned to find the suspect who attacked Harry. One suspect, Amelia, a regular at the dance studio, explained that she didn't come into the studio for many days that she had been sunbathing at the beach. The 
other instructor, Ron, said that he left the studio early when a close friend had called him for an emergency. The last suspect was Harry's girlfriend, Gina. She confessed that they had a fight that morning, and she had gone to her friend's place to discuss the matter. After questioning the suspects, the police knew instantly who attacked Harry in the studio. Take a close look. You have to pick who is behind the attack, and you have 15 seconds to do so, starting now. Did you figure it out? If you look closely, you'll notice that Amelia is suspiciously pale for someone who had been sunbathed in Antania on the beach for several days. So she's definitely lying about it. The next riddle is the riddle of the day and the most challenging of all, so make sure you really think hard and do your best to try to solve it. Number six, the upside down code. Wayne was leaving work one day and walking down into the parking lot when he saw something strange. His car had a four pin lock on the side of one door that made no sense. While he was standing by his vehicle in utter confusion, Wayne's boss came up to him and told him that he would be promoted to the executive's office by the following day if he cracked the code in a single attempt. Wayne was given a note with just one hint. Which was the latest passing year that's the same upside down? Wayne came up with the correct answer and was promoted the next day. Can you figure it out? Which year was it? Think fast because time's running out. The answer is 1961. Number seven, the strange scientist. One night, Helen made a daring bet with her friend Laura. Helen had a visit to an abandoned old house in the town where no one lived, and it was to be demolished. Now there is a crazy rumor going around that the derelict house was the laboratory of a mad scientist who carried out strange experiments there. Around 3 a.m., she entered a dark hallway with two mirrors. Suddenly, the lights were switched on, and Helen saw a figure of an old man in a white lab coat. The strange man said, Good day to you. I'm Dr. Stark. Helen didn't believe the man and cried out, What is this? You aren't real at all. How did Helen know it wasn't the real scientist? Take a guess. Did you crack the riddle? The scientist didn't even cast a shadow, although he made reflections in the mirrors, so he wasn't exactly you. It was just a hologram that Helen saw. Number eight, new restaurant. Lily is the proud owner of one of the newest vegetarian restaurants in town. On the day the restaurant was open for the first time, Lily invited her sister, Hannah, to celebrate the first day at the new restaurant with her. However, Hannah was shocked to find Lily passed out on the floor of her office. The police were called immediately, and the officers brought in everyone who entered the restaurant on that day. The electrician said, I was here simply to check that everything was working as it's supposed to. While the cleaner claimed, Lily was completely fine when he came in for a cleaning after which he left. Lastly, the chef said, I had been sharpening all my knives for meat carving, so I have nothing to do with this. With this, the police immediately arrested the chef. Why? Take your time to guess. Did you figure it out? The chef was guilty because there was no meat carving station in a vegetarian restaurant. Number nine, stolen paintings. Resident detective Neil Graham is getting ready for work in the evening. Suddenly, he heard a woman screaming for help. He hurried to his neighbor's house from where he heard cries emitting. The front door was firmly shut and when he couldn't get it open, Detective Graham broke it down. When he entered, he saw his neighbor, Miss Carter, tied to a chair. Oh, thank God you're here, Mr. Graham. Half an hour ago, there was an incessant knocking on my door and I opened it, thinking it was my friend. But as soon as I opened the door, a man barged in, tied me up, and took all of my paintings that my grandfather left me. Why did the detective arrest Miss Carter for staging her robbery? Time's running, guess fast because you only have 15 seconds.
The door had been locked from the inside when the detective showed up. So who could have locked it if Miss Carter had been tied up inside and the thief had fled with the precious paintings? Number 10, the watch. One day, Leah found an extremely expensive watch on the luxury cruiser which she was working as a shop assistant. So of course, Leah announced on the radio about the lost watch and asked the owner to claim it. Now, four people showed up to claim it, but Leah was instantly able to identify the owner of the branded watch. Can you guess who the owner of the watch is? Although the first man has a tan line from wearing a watch, it's still not much bigger than the lost watch, so it doesn't belong to him. A young girl who showed up in the hopes of claiming the expensive watch was also checked off the list as she's already wearing one. The dog of the eccentric older woman is wearing her watch like a fancy collar, so the confused lady is not the owner either. The watch belongs to the teenage boy. Click one of these four videos on screen right now.